the George Washington University at the intersection of policy, practice, and research, connecting all that Washington has to offer with an intellectual environment that drives progress, transforming vision into action, offering learning experiences that are rigorous, real-time, and real-world. In a city shaping the future, George Washington is a place where faculty and students don't just study the world, they work to change it. Welcome back, guys, to EGFC. I am Court Still, T like Benedict. No one installed my body yet, and we are here with PBE, who took over the body of Peter. <laughs> uh, how's it going? I'm excited for this match because I know a. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, Results-wise, are not speaking good for uh, Niagara. But that being said, this is the underdog story. Things can happen. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, they can come back and they can maybe even clean slate them. They can just destroy them. Or yep. they can get whipped. There's, any, there's tons of different ways that this can go. For sure. And, I mean, these two teams do have a history. Last season, GW did beat Niagara. So that does mean that Niagara definitely wants that revenge this season. And, I mean, they're going to be missing two of their players from last season, uh, Tev and Fiction. But hopefully these newer players that they have are able to get something going. Yeah, so a, lot of, a lot of hope that a lot of things can happen here. Uh, as far as the results, guys, if you guys do care for them, I believe 0-6 for Niagara. And uh, George Washington University is has, I believe, a 2-4 and four record, if I'm not mistaken. So they're doing pretty fine. They're doing all right for themselves right now. I mean, there's a better team out there, but they're doing all right for themselves. Things can change. It's still, you know, somewhere in the season. So we can still make things happen for themselves. But there's going to be a little bit of up here battle. Uh, Niagara has thus far, I believe, only won one game. But you know what? They can be playing very, but they can be just like, you know what? Hey, you know what? We're a bad team, quote unquote. And then they just go crazy. Anything yeah. that Yeah. We've definitely seen it in sports where, you know, Teams are just doing bad, and out of nowhere, they just do start. They just are amazing. They just play great. They play fantastic. Uh, hopefully, we see that out of Niagara today. But, you know, George Washington University kind of wanted to get that dub. Want to be, what, 3 4? And then mm -hmm. one more evens up the score. So, yep. Yeah, and I mean, like, if they can get to that even, you know, that even score at the end of the season, that'll be very helpful for proceeding. Especially because they've had a lot of nail biters this season as well, against a lot of really good schools. But, I mean, right now we've got... Oh, I think this is a button check right now between Jayco83 and Will. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be a fun matchup. You know what? We've had a lot of a little bit of abusive matchups as far as commentators. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. We had some real, you know, exciting affairs to call. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But this one, Terry Bogard versus the Monkey DK. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I want all ape action. <laughs> I'm not talking about all ape action just from DK. I'm talking about Terry. That character is a... Yep. Ooh. <laughs> that player is four gorillas. <laughs> that, that, that character is like a couple gorillas, bro. It's <laughs> a silverback. Yep. So we're going to be doing monkey, me, including monkey me. action. I'm a Terry player myself. <laughs> You're a Terry player yourself? All right. Yep. I respect it, man. I've even taught Jayco83 a few things about Terry, like uh, how to tiger any specials. So, oh, really? I am I am the silverback. <laughs> He's a high end silverback. <laughs> I am the gorilla. Look at me. I am the monkey now. Look at me. Look at me. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting affair. Uh, seeing these two. It's always interesting seeing the fighting game characters versus DK. Because things can go one way or another. It's usually in the fighting game character's favor, but. You know, things can surprise you. Yep, and Donkey Kong is one of those matchups where if you're not ready for it, you can just get blown up. Oh, double up tilt, not leading to much, but 22%. Oh, yep, and there's that pretty much guaranteed combo, especially on heavies. 
He could probably do it one more time. I guess he just doesn't feel like it, but this is already a very strong start for Jayco83. Yeah, really, really strong start for him. Going for the up B. Not going to be able to get punched for it just because he landed on platform. Oh, oh that's wow. still caught him? That was right in the heart of it, too. Wow. <laughs> what? That punches back hairs. That's not fair. Oh, he was waiting for the roll there. And luckily for Will, not giving up to him. Very patient. Good good stuff from him. But 129% is going to be hard. Oh, no. Yeah, and that up smash is just so strong. It's frame nine. It it gets the job done. Uppercut to the chin. And yeah, the stuff that you call Jacko is apparently working out quite well for him. Ooh, and his combo game is at least adding up to what? 30% per exchange. Yes, he, he almost never misses these conversions. Oh, Jeff, yeah, I'm the power dunk. Just let it rock. Yep. Old reliable. Ooh, and he tried to get the very active burn knuckle there for the kill off of like a catching ledge, but didn't really. Oh, oh my God. Ooh. I'm not going to lie. Jacko's kind of going wild right now. <laughs> yeah, he. He wants to start off a strong lead for George Washington, and I mean, that's pretty much what he's doing. If he could just finish it up without losing another, without losing a stock, then it'll just be so good for the team's momentum. Yeah, he's making George Washington proud. The the wooden teeth man is, you know, smiling in the heavens right now, as this Terry Bogart is going nuts on DK. Ooh, and... That's unfortunate for Jaco that uh, he wasn't able to actually land the power dunk because on shield, when you do it after a jump, oh. That is, that is death, that is demise. Three stock, by the way. Jaco looking on fire to start off this first game of this amazing <laughs> collegiate crew battle. You see there the down tilt to, uh, I believe that's burning knuckle, I want to say. Yeah, that was burn knuckle. And one thing to consider in this matchup when playing against Terry, you either want to, like, if you're shielding, you want to be below a platform because you do not want to just be in the open holding shield because when power dunk is done after a full hop, it will uh, guarantee be it, ver like very safe on shield, sometimes plus one on shield, which means that because <laughs> Terry has a, he has a frame three option, to do immediately afterwards, there is no out of shield in the game that can actually punish it. Yeah, I, I, I have the unfortunate, uh, I have to deal with a lot of Terry Bogarts here. Mm -hmm. And once they hit me with that move, I'm like, all right, cool. It's not my turn anymore. It's just like, yeah. I, I, I should have gotten hit with that neutral. What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> should have gotten away. Should have gotten away with it. Should have rolled, should have spot dodged or something like that. Should have just like yep. not been there to get hit with that on my shield. And that is all plus. And mm -hmm. right now, it does not seem like... DK also, once again, does not have the most amazing out-of-shield option. That's also true. So you kind of have to hold everything already. So, like, even if you don't do that, if you just run him up with, like, a Nair, for example, he's not going to be able to grab you in time. So <laughs> this is almost a free game of Terry being able to, like, press buttons all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just going to be so painful. But if... If Will wants to actually get... Out get some sort of advantage against Jayco83. He's going to have to get out of the way of that power dunk. You know, like, the way you deal with that power dunk is you either have to stuff it out before it actually gets to the dangerous part, or you just have to get out of the way and then punish it landing. But you have to, like, throw something out right when they're about to land. Oh! Okay. K rule? Interesting. All right, well, I feel a little bit cold-hearted right now going to King K rule. Hmm. This character has been showing, beginning a lot of love uh, thanks to Kirby Kid, of course. Yes, Kirby Kid, I love that player. Oh my God, just so clean. Yeah, unfortunately, wow. I don't know if you'd be uh, <laughs> loving a lot of this K. Rule action right now because my man is still getting bullied despite switching to another big body character. <laughs> oh oh no. no! Okay, we we, we live in though. Yeah, this is K. Rule. Oh. Bro. <laughs> He tried to forward it out of shield there too, but I was not quick enough to get past that. Oh, and he's got the crown, which means that a great landing option for King K. Rule is no longer off the board. Yeah, attack not able to take it, but at this point, any big confirm, any regular confirm should be able to just end it. Yeah. I'm looking for it with the power dunk. Go for the rising tackle. Wow. Ma that was a fantastic match. 
Bro, he, he, he wants to cheese him. He and wanted no that parry. He slowly but surely brings us back. If he actually gets a rage, any move, like he actually just might die. Yeah, like a down throw can definitely kill here. Ooh. Oh, and that's gonna be it for you at 168. Just exploded pretty much. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is party time. You now get the option of Buster Roll. We also get the option from Oh, Buster Roll, I like it. 50% just like that and just needs a power. Wow, that was a great spot dodge. Just barely able to avoid the power geyser because that's such a good ledge option. You know, just being able to catch several like get up options there in just one move. Oh, uh, you're dead? Question mark? Oh, no, he messed it up. He could have just done an up tilt there. No! Or <laughs> tilt. Oh my god, don't die to Terry Bogart. Oh, you're about to die to Terry Bogart. No! Uh... And this is Max Rage Terry, too, so. He can. If, oh, he can stop with the double three. Oh, no. Oh, no. 55. Oh, he can make it happen to you. Don't let it happen to you. Take a stock, homie. I believe he will. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you, Will. Oh, he got a few teammates and I just later on. Oh, my God. Oh, the parry is over. Oh, no. We messed it up. There's no punish there, though. Oh. 112 right now. You need to take this stock. Don't get. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you! Don't let it be you! Oh my god, he's hunting him! He's so scared! Oh <laughs> no! Three stock there! And that's a six stock to start off the match. Eight okay. points to zero for GW. Jayco83 giving a statement. My god, who are you running from? Are you running from me? Why are you so scared, Crocodile? Ugh, ugh. And because because King K. Rule is so heavy, that combo was able to work at such a late percent too. Oof. Yeah, at 112, normally those moves kind of like drop. They're just like legitimate guesses at that point, but my goodness. Yep, and that down tilt jab, jab, Buster Wolf was at that point, I'm pretty sure true because at early percents, it's a fake combo, but once you get to the later percents, it does just enough hit stun that the Buster Wolf connects. So, ugh. my goodness. That was a that compared to the last you know college college battle we just witnessed. That was a dominating first game. Mm -hmm. Our man's gonna be on the bench for a while. They're not gonna talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna talk to him at all. They're like I don't know Will. That, that person does not exist to me. My goodness, my man got hit with the heaviest of stuff. Not impossible for this to you know be brought back, but my goodness, if that's the start of the first game. Or the first like set between those guys. I would hate to see how the start of the second set goes. Hopefully they pick a heavier hitter to go in there. Yeah, I hope so, because they need to make a comeback now. Like you can't afford to let GW get more momentum because eight to zero is already just such a big deficit. Huge deficit. Jeez. My goodness. I mean, with looking at the records already, we've um if, if I recall correctly, Niagara has only won one game previous to this so like definitely need to like you know pick it up a little bit i don't know what type of videos you need to watch and what type of juice you need to drink but you definitely need to be doing that type of stuff to prepare for george washington man yeah because this is a team that despite their record they've gone like last game with several of the schools that are like on the higher rankings yeah so just like from from like a from a perspective of nobody, somebody who doesn't know, they're just gonna be like, oh, okay, well, their results aren't that really good. When in reality, George Washington has been battling against like the heaviest hitters and they've just been yeah. barely not making it out. Right. That sucks, <laughs> to be honest with you, that really sucks. <laughs> but I mean, like, hey, that's that's the uh, name of the game and it's nature of uh, how, how it all ends up. Mm-hmm. My goodness gracious, that was a rough, rough first set. Yeah, and... They are just... Okay, so they've got actually for George Washington's first player, there's Over, and for a Niagara, there is Crisis. Over is a snake player. Uh, I'm actually his bracket demon at the George Washington University local. Uh, oh, okay. All right, I'm a little bit. He was like, you know, I'm a little bit of a, I'm a, little bit of a monster myself, actually. <laughs> uh, but his first opponent is going, or his opponent is going to be Crisis, who is a Min Min. And that's going to be an interesting matchup because these are two characters... They they both are sort of zoners, but like Snake is, yeah. I would call I would say has much better like close up options. 
See, I I also play Snake a little bit, dabble in the character. I've only played the minimum matchup a little bit, but from what my knowledge is, that matchup is incredibly annoying. <laughs> it's yeah. super duper annoying. It's not fun. <laughs> never I've been like, you know what? I get to fight a Min Min. Yay! No, it's never <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, I get to fight Min Min. I'm so excited. Yeah, because like from my perspective anyway, or uh, might be from, you know, my man's perspective as well. But when Snake pulls a grenade and she is 20 years away from you and she hits your shield, that grenade is not going to hurt her at all. It's going to be all shield pressure for her. So we're going to mm -hmm. see what he does to really uh, combat that as you brought before. Uh, in the close exchanges, Snake should be able to win most of those exchanges just because of the frame data. It's just incredible. Mm -hmm. And they have picked, uh, they actually have picked their stage. They're going to PS2, and I actually really like Crisis's bands here. Crisis banned Smashville and Battlefield, and those are two stages you do not want to play against Snake on. Those are some really good stages to ban there, actually. Really, really good stages to ban there. Yes. Especially for Min Min, too. Like, you will, mm -hmm. out of all the characters can bat Snake on PS2, it would probably be Min Min, because, like, she's like, oh, I love real estate anyway, so, like... Yeah. Min Min, generally, I've seen likes PS2. So, this is a confident, a confident pick right now from over. So, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Yeah, this could be the first big win for uh, Niagara. Mm -hmm. But it could also just be another loss on the board. Who knows? Yeah. It's up to these guys to make it happen. For sure. And they're getting into it right now. Oh, actually going Stamus this time instead of Min Min. Interesting. So from a lot of matchup charts that I look at, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will put this as even. I personally feel like Snake does incredibly well in this matchup. Interesting. I don't... Be a, what's up? I don't see how it would be even. I think a Snake would sort of just have a good time in this. I think Snake has a really, really good time in it, but Samus also just... Samus, her game plan is very, very annoying to deal with, regardless That's of who true. you are. And she does have very good burst options, like, for example, her up the out of shield is just such a good get-off-me tool. Yeah, and he, even just like, you know, if he does get a, you know, a charge blast, at some point, this is going to confirm into whatever. If you get a dash attack afterwards, you get, what, 40, 50% off of one exchange. That's true. Oh, ooh, I love the usage of that forward air there because it's so active. Being able to just cover so much range and being able to actually just cover so many options as well. Man's got the B reverses on decks right now. Oof. Oh, he puts the T4 on her. I don't know if she knows. Oh, oh. still living. But the way this is going, the action pack that's going on here. What it actually got the kill. Ooh. That up smash was so good. Just using that up smash and then just baiting it to actually go for a jumping aerial. Mm. Yeah, I think it caught bad DI there. So that was really, really good for over. Yes. It was very important that he took that stock as soon as possible as well. Oh, get the oh. back air, the untaggable back air too, by oh. the way. Okay. And Niagara taking their first stock of the match, which is important. You do not want to get three stock three games in a row. Definitely not. This is a much closer of a match, and Crisis actually has the little bit of a lead thus far. Mm hmm. Also playing very patiently here too, waiting for the snake to approach. Yes, that's very important in general, I would say, in matchup. Oh, absolutely. Snake is one of those kind of characters, like, if you don't know how to fight him, he's the best character in the game. But if you do know how to fight him, he gets a little bit more, you know, yeah, uh, interesting to fight. He's still good, but just not quite as, like, best character in the game level. Yeah, not the best character in the game. He's like, oh, wow, guess he's near one. Follow up. <laughs> oh, he's roll. You just didn't believe. He didn't. You gotta have faith. You do. You gotta have faith. You're like, you know what? He's definitely gonna roll back. And gamer, or, I'm sorry, Christ is gave him a roll, roll back. If only Smash Bros. would be given that rollback. <laughs> Someone we can only wish. And as T4 catches that, almost a two frame it felt like. Yeah, that was... This is just great ledge trapping from over. That's been the name of the game for him, actually. And he's killed the ledge twice. Once with a up smash, another one with T4. And getting these straight for grenade and are leading to stuff like dash attack. Oh, another dash attack, too. That move his invincibility covers landing pretty well. Oh, oh, you got it! Oh, oh, you gotta tech those. Oh, you absolutely have to tech those, but Over is happy he did it. A two stock in his favor, really good for his team. 
Oof, and that's 10 points already on the board for George Washington. This is looking so scary for Niagara. Tell you, man, that that wooden chip man is just smiling in heaven right now, knowing that his university is doing so good. Oh, the, the, the rub the eye right there. Unfortunate for him, but great for uh, over. Mm -hmm. I really liked that Crisis, though, was willing to go off stage against Snake. You normally do not see edge guarding on Snake work because that Cypher has the it has the armor. And it's just very tricky because it can ground. That's, that's one thing you actually have to do against Snake. If he ever recovers low, kill him. <laughs> he should not live. Yeah. Uh, the Cypher is like a really irritating thing to deal with. But on, in reality, like, he has no other hitbox besides that. And if you get hit with Cypher, it's a trade that you should be willing to take. Because mm -hmm. that is the only time when he's off stage that you get the ability to just, like, you know, absolutely kill him for. Yes. And that was a good realization from a man crisis. But the rest of the game was just not great for him. Uh, let's see what the rebound is here going to game two. Yeah, this will be important to see. Okay, so for George Washington's bans, they're banning Final Destination, Kalos, and Smashville. So that really only leaves a few stages. And they're going Battlefield, which is a stage that I don't know if I like that pick against Snake. Snake, actually, I think Snake's best stage is actually Battlefield. I think Snake yeah, is crazy exactly. on Battlefield. Exactly. Like, Snake loves this stage. And so, Crisis had better be very confident on Battlefield, or else that was a blunder. Yeah. Because it's, like it's like a guessing game. It's like a mini game in the game that you're playing. You're like, oh, where did he put T4? I don't know. And you jump up on top platform and you just die at 50. Like, that sucks for you, but it's great for him. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. So we'll be getting to the next match very soon. Right now, as a matter of fact, Snake versus ZSS. Oh, okay. I'm interested by the switch here. We have, actually, we're taking the armor off. Yeah, we're taking the armor off. It could be a little bit better of a character for it. <laughs> <laughs> no shots at Samus Mains, of course. Not the ZSS Mains anyway, but. Yeah, this is uh, gonna be interesting fair from, at least in my opinion, this match is very, very even. Uh, it can just go out of nowhere and blow up for Snake if he's not patient and not getting out of this event, this, uh, this event properly. All right, English is hard. Nice dash attack. Oh, wow, that yeah. was a great flip kick. That's one thing you gotta look out as Snake. You gotta look out from GSS just kind of flip kicking out of disadvantage. What? That down air beat the mi the the up smash. Yeah, any what? any active hitbox beats up smash. Really? Yes, sir. So you can uh, like you can just wake up and be like, oh the C four. Oh. Oh. That C four landed on the particular right area of the platform. That was so good. Whew. Putting some trigonometry in here. Just going okay. If I put the C four in this exact spot, my man knew. He had the shower gun. He had the foresight to do it. Foresight not even playing Mithra. <laughs> oh, he put the C4 on her. She's going to eat a little bit percent. Oh, no, he's saving it. <gasps> to get out of the corner, that was so smart. That C4 has worked almost every single time. It really is. You can kill super early, too, if the player does not know about it. Oh, great use of the down tilt, too. The low profile of the uh, grenade explosion. Oh, okay. That was important for Crisis to be able to take that stock as soon as possible. But I mean, this is 90% of extra credit against Snake, who just has kill power for days. Oh my Ugh. god, the bad DI. Uh, uh, <laughs> the bad DI on that, that was not great for Crisis. And we look like we might potentially see another two stock here. Oh no. Wow. I'm even forgetting where these C4s are. Oh yeah, I think he's got a C4 on him. Oh no, it actually landed on the, uh, the stage actually. All right, he's flip kicking out of here. Yes, you want to flip kick out of there because otherwise you're just getting blown up, literally. If indeed true, tries to cover that. Oh, that, that flip kick was dangerous. Oh my god. Had the right idea, just at the wrong time. He's now one up tilt away from just actually exploding. No pun Ooh. intended. This is just so scary. Oh my god, he's, he's anything from away from dying. Get the C4 oh, no, again. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Tag, you're it! 
Tag, I'm the winner. <laughs> Over with a nice little 2-0 and a double two stock there. Ugh, and that means that that's another six points. This is 16 to zero in two sets. That means that even if, wait, is th no, not 16 to zero, sorry, 14 to zero. So that means that if George Washington wins one more set, it is impossible for Niagara to win. My goodness gracious. And like, yeah, at first, you know, I was thinking like, okay, maybe this is a little bit more even between these guys and over just kind of ran away with everything there. And look at this mm -hmm. nice D4 stick. Tag your it. <laughs> GG's, bro. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Good stuff from, uh, once again, over. Uh, being crisis. You also seem to be going through a character crisis, too. I mean, like, you brought up before Min Min and what we saw a GSS and a Samus, too. So that was kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm interested as to why they switched characters. I would think that Min Min would, I don't know, deal with that a bit better. Min Min would do actually really, really good matchup. Like, I have my opinions on Samus. I have my opinions on, like, ZSS. But Min Min, that matchup is really irritating the, the, the fight of Snake. Yeah, Min Min's just a very frustrating matchup for most characters, and that's sort of what you want. I mean, you're not lying. She is a very frustrating matchup for a lot of characters. <laughs> it's not a fun matchup. I've had many people at our local get very, very mad about it. <laughs> yes. And even the characters that beat Min Min, it's still a frustrating matchup. Yeah, definitely. So I I, I don't understand why I'm not going with the Min Min there. Maybe it's his comfort pick. Maybe he's had a lot more success fighting Snakes with Samus on ZSS. But either way, what well, not happen today, Niagara is still down, has not taken a game, and only has taken one, uh, I think like two stocks in total, actually. Yes. Absolutely. Not great. Right only two stocks and they need to at least get a game in be or a set they need a set right now because otherwise it will be impossible and that's not what you want not what you want at all and you know i was you know you know poking and making jokes and whatnot saying like oh man will getting three stocks both times like you know the the team's gonna make fun of them if george washington ends up losing like you know more than two stocks at this point they're probably gonna make fun of that guy they mm -hmm. niagara needs to prove that they are a you know, a team that, you know, fight here. And of course, in these collegiate battles at EGFC. So they gotta, they gotta bring their best. I, I, I'll throw in the best guy we have right now, just to maybe change momentum a little bit. Oof. And George Washington is bringing in uh, Solid and Niagara's bringing in Crispy with a K, like a Krispy Kreme. Ah. Good donut place. Uh, Please yes. sponsor Crispy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I love your donuts. So this will uh, be an interesting. Okay. This will be an interesting matchup. I don't see who Crispy plays, but I do know personally that Solid plays Captain Falcon. Uh, so this should be this should be interesting because Solid is one of those players who, in general, has pretty good neutral. That's definitely yeah. his strongest aspect. But his combo game not quite as much, but he's got very good. Trapping, and if Crispy has any difficulty with recovering, it's going to be exploited as soon as possible. This is a, and you know, the only reason I like kind of like shook my head a little bit at a uh, solid playing Captain Falcon because that's the person I would expect to play Snake, and like over, I would probably expect to play Captain Falcon. So these names <laughs> mixed up, I'm not too happy about, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> They're a little bit irritating, man. Your name is Solid. I need you to play Snake. All right. Can't be Sonic fan 91 and you're over here playing Joker. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what am there I supposed actually, to do with that? I'm pretty sure there is a player named like Sonic fan something and then plays ZSS. Why? Why do you do this to us? Why can't you just be normal like the rest of us? Goodness gracious. If Master Chief had came out instead of Sora, the MC McBendit would send for Master Chief. That is simple. You just do it for that. You do it like that. You do it to please your commentators. You do it to please the spectators. Mm -hmm. But you're over here creating chaos. I don't appreciate that. But we see what type of chaos Solid can actually, you know, make here, well, especially with Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon is just off. That character can, it's zero to a hundred with that character. I don't know where they can just blow you up and mm -hmm. you could just be dead in like, what? Off of one grab, off of one strain there. Yep. <sighs> yeah, that character is uh, very interesting. We've seen it at the high level or just say the top level with Fatality, of course. 
I've seen it at a high level too with a guy's name guys that we have out here named uh, Bert the Dragon as well. We have so many like interesting Falcons that are out there in the world. So I think we're getting to our first matchup out, out here. Captain Falcon versus Sora. Okay. Yes, I did hear actually that Niagara has a lot of Sora play for some reason. I mean, Sora is a very good character, but like, it's still a new character. At this level, it's going to be very difficult to win one. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, you're not going to edgeguard Sora. It's not going to happen. I don't believe it. Yeah, you'd have to be like a magician. You have to be a sorcerer. Literally, Doctor Strange to make that happen. But well, the thing is, here, oh. Crispy can actually just die. Sora is not that heavy, so if he gets hit with a big hit, he's actually just explode. Yeah, if he gets caught with an up smash, I think he'll die right here. Oh, oh. not quite. Almost living up to their prophecy, though. He was really close. That was just a two count. Yep. Um, I can call the shots with these GW players sometimes. <laughs> oh, that was one good call out. Oh, another up smash. Ugh. Yeah, this, is, this is definitely a very good lead to have right now for Solid. I mean, this just means he can, can dictate the pace for the rest of this game. Yeah, I mean, dictate the pace meaning it's going to be a more fast, you know, high tank game. It doesn't seem like, you know, Solid's putting down the brakes for anything right now. He keeps going in. Yeah, for sure. And wow, that early knee go... That... Oh, he doesn't have... As a respect to recovery, because it's way too good. Side yep. me? Oh, what? How did that not kill? How did that get the weak hit? Oh my god, but us match does it. It looks like we might be seeing another three stock or another two stock. What else is on the board? Oh. Oh my god. I'm, I'm seeing an adaptation from Solid here, actually going for a bit more of a drift out uh, after the first up air, because they saw that Crispy likes to go for those down airs out of disadvantage. Risky down airs, too. Yes, because those leave you very vulnerable if they don't hit. August the Falcon King at 76%. Oh, he was looking for the down tilt. Down tilt with that much rage, I don't know if that would have killed, but that would have been really scary oh. for him. But the lightning killed him. Yes, Thundaga was so important there because you do not want to deal with a max rage Captain Falcon. Now you just have to deal with regular Captain Falcon when you're at these higher percentages and you can just die. Yeah, an up smash will kill here. Whoop! Ha. He's going for the knees, and they just keep not connecting or just doing the weak hit, which is unfortunate. Well, the first hit there should be able to, to click into um, uh, forward air, but the problem is I think he's at like a little bit too higher percentages. Oh, another stocking kick. Up B's gonna kill. Roll, um... Okay, Up B's not gonna kill. I lied. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my goodness. Give daddy a hug wow. real quick. <laughs> Come here, child. <laughs> Let me Get see him. you real fast. Get in the command grab. Two stocks in their favor. <laughs> this has been a very dominant set uh, in total from George Washington, the GWU. Yes. And I mean, this is now 16 to zero. So that's very difficult for Niagara to deal with. I don't know, the way every player's playing right now is looking kind of impossible right now. I would like to see a rebound from these boys. But it's looking so difficult here. Yeah, it's looking so difficult. Was able to get a stock with that thunder, though? Ran right in there. Got the slow motion replay. The only kill my man <laughs> got, got the slow motion replay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got you to gotta appreciate every single kill. <laughs> I respect it. All right, guess the LB command grab. And yeah, once again, very dominant game um, from GWU. Very dominant sets this far from GWU. Uh, this set is not, of course, not over. Um, there's still one more game to contest here, possibly. Oh, we're getting right back into it, actually. Oh, and I'm interested as to why they're going back to PS2. I would want to, you know, maybe give a different scenario because, you know, if you lose like that, you kind of want to just change it up as much as possible, see if there's any way to just make it so that they can't get the same situation to repeat. Yeah, I, uh, I am uh, very much of the same opinion, actually. Oh, knee? Oh, go for the counter. If he actually went to the knee, he would have died. <laughs> yeah. You would have exploded into memories. <laughs> okay, getting day one by the Sora there. 
Oh, the up B, just the, the random do it, the anti error. And this is a lot better of a game for Crispy here. Very, uh, a way, way better of a game. If he was able to take the stock here, he would actually have the lead, which is the first time for, you know, the boys in the aggro. That's true. And I'm seeing a lot that Solid is respecting that Thundaga a lot more. Oh, and, that would have oh blown him up. I don't think, actually, the first hit of all smash is not that strong, so he actually probably would have loved that. Oh, the up B, the trade. Oh, that was so good. Going for the, continuing the jab there to just not let the command grab hit. Oh, wow. And Kirkby takes the first stock. Was that a little bit of teabag or was he just checking himself? He had to tie his shoes, I think. I don't quite know. If it was a teabag, then maybe starting to feel himself a bit. Yeah, he's doing way better against Solid than I thought he would after the yeah. domination of the first game. Ooh, and I think Solid's just struggling in this matchup right now. <gasps> wow, that was great spacing. I think at this point, Solid is res uh, respecting him a little bit too much, it feels like. Oh, okay. M moment he saw that the uh, that Crispy didn't go for the side beat cancel out of the up I think he just saw, okay, I can punish here. Oh, I like to see a little bit, a uh, little bit more of a punish on these these counters. Actually, it, it seems yeah. like Crispy is just putting him out whenever he's in disadvantage. Oh, he's oh. just dead. Oh no, he's not. Oh, oh. oh but then there kills him. And this went from a decent lead for Crispy to just a commanding one for Solid. Yeah, especially with Solid's combo game, it's been pretty nice. It's been pretty good. He's been getting a lot of percentage off of these straight hits. Yes, oh, and that's important. He's, he's been working on that for a while now. That's good for him. I'm starting to see the uh, the fruits of his labor really work out for him. Mm -hmm. I'll be punished there. Gets him with another dash attack. This lead that he's had, you know, it'd be kind of nice to go with the two strikes to team lead for a point, oh. and it will not happen here. Wow, that's big. That's the first time it's been to a last stock situation this entire match, which is very important. You. Do want to at least get it to that, you know? Show okay, we've got some fight in us. Hey, you definitely do want to get to that point. Personally, it's like looking at the end that he actually might be able to take a stock again. He might be able to take a game again. Yeah. Just I'll solid. Having... Oh. Wow! I didn't think that you had enough time to act after that. Oh man, if he gets another like random F smash and is like maybe a little bit more towards the corner. Oh, oh never mind! Oh, oh. <laughs> he was They're waiting. waiting. He was waiting. He's just like, I just need one side B and I win. Delete it from the game. Yeah. <laughs> he never existed at all. Just bam, boom. He Chris just teleported. A, goodness gracious. Chris was a figment of our imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Mary of mine, but a little bit more competitive a game. Uh, yeah. You know, if I'm crispy, I, you know, I pat myself on the back a little bit for that because mm -hmm. the rest of the games have been not great for his whole team. So hopefully this is the start for some special force team, but still going to be an L right there thus far. Thanks to, of course, my man Solid. Yes, and that does mean that it is impossible for Niagara to even tie because it is 17 to 0. And that means that even if Niagara managed to get two sets of double three stocks, then it would still not be enough because you can only get at most eight per set and there are two sets left. Uh, 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 <laughs> the nasty... Uh, uh, that's, that, that's, he made the exact face I did when he did He's like... Uh, <laughs> it was the nastiest, nastiest me. <laughs> well, once again, good stuff. So, of course, guys from um, GWU, George Washington University. Uh, they have been doing fantastic and like, you know, as you said before, as they're battling those hard teams at the hard teams at the hard teams at the hard teams, they're like, hey, we definitely need a W on the board. And if we can mm -hmm. get this one and, you know, get some good points and then go into the next, you know, big set that we have and win that one, it's even. It's 4-4. Four, mm -hmm. four. And that would be really good for the team in the long run. Yep. Yeah, because that does mean that you're sort of going to probably be in the middle of the pack at the end of the season. And that's important. You do not want to be just all the way at the bottom, because that means that round one, you're going to go against the best team. And that's not what you want. Yeah, that would really mess up a, a lot of cities and whatnot. Uh, so good stuff to them for, of course, you know, getting a good W thus far. It's 
just looking like a win for them thus far. But from the end, you guys, I, at this point, we're already at the bottom of the leaderboard. Fight for pride. Fight to get better at the game. Just fight it out. That, that, that's, that's at least my opinion on it. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't go in there with a defeatist attitude like, oh, we already lost. So it doesn't really matter. Fight these guys if you don't fight them. They're from yeah. another state. They're from another area, probably. Like, fight them because you don't fight them regularly. Yeah. I mean, the best. Niagara University is in New York and GW is in MDVA. It's in Washington, D.C. So two very different regions. Two very different regions. You're not going to get this opportunity a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. And like these caliber of players that you're fighting right now in George Washington University, you know, it seems like they're a little bit tough for you guys already. Try your best. Do what you guys can. I mean, if it doesn't work out for you, it doesn't work out for you. But at least you learn something in the end. Yeah. That's the best way to look at it. You, you, don't, you don't have to look at every game that you're about to play as a winning game. Look at the level, every game that you're about to play as like a learning game. Like, okay, what did I learn from this? What did I do from this? Mm -hmm. And I say, don't be Bradley wins. But I smoke a guy on stream. Oh, I'm super happy about it. Whole family's yeah. going to watch that. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be also be proud of, you know, like sometimes they're losing affairs. Sometimes if you take a guy down to like the last dog, that's very good. Mm -hmm. And they have confirmed, both the players have confirmed their final, or not their final player, their second to player. Um... Niagara is bringing out Percy, and GW is bringing out Projectile. Projectile is a me gunner player, and Percy is a... Uh, I actually can't see who Percy plays, because this doesn't give Percy's character. Oh, just a wild guess, man. We're going to say Kazuya. <laughs> I mean, I have heard that Niagara has a lot of swords, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's a... You know, Kanye is an interesting character. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. Sora is also a very interesting character. There's so many interesting characters in this game. Mm -hmm. I like the DLC. I like the patches that they have done to certain characters, too. I mean, this whole, like, meta right now, people are talking about, like, oh, man, where's Violet Pad? I think they're super high tier, top tier, why not? At this point, it doesn't even matter. You can do it with any yeah. character. You can do it with any character. So, mm -hmm. it's only, like, two characters that really, like, are just, like, stupid bad. Really, really bad. Yeah. Isabel. Yeah, Isabel, Little Mac, Ganondorf. No, those characters are not good. <laughs> those characters yeah. are super bad. They're not kind of garbage. <laughs> not gonna lie to you. Yeah. But these characters are fun. Yeah. Ganondorf's always one of the ones though at least you can like catch people. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm winning neutral. <laughs> Sucks to be you! I'm just telling you, man, when you get hit with Ganondorf, like, you get hit with one Ganondorf move, you start questioning everything in your life. You're like, bro, I don't know if I can make this comeback here. Yeah, yeah like, just like, this character's bad? <laughs> I swear to you, man, Ganondorf's the scariest character in the game for me. Like, I yeah. know he's bad, but as soon as he hits me, he feels like the best character in the game. Like, he hits me one there, I'm like, bro, I'm about to die. He's about to hit me with some F-Smash read, I'm just going to explode at, like, 20%. Mm -hmm. It's just oh. like, it's like... Am I bad? Is the character bad? <laughs> Who? I mean, to be fair, at a, like a, a big level too, like the top tier level, uh, mm -hmm. we saw, I think his name is Rickles. I want to say his name is yes, Rickles. Rickles. Yeah, Rickles, absolutely ridiculous with that character. He's actually been one of our top players too. I believe Joker uh, playing Samus. He won that matchup against, and I don't know how he did it. He's even been guys like Lima and N. He's also been a lot of great players. Yes. So like, he just ridiculous and that just goes to show you like even like the you know quote unquote bad characters are still you know they got something yes and rickles is also a commentator so don't let it be you don't let it be you who loses to the commentator that is also a ganondorf that's the double that's the double right there of the <laughs> can't believe i lost to them can't believe i lost to the commentator that's uh playing ganondorf that's crazy i don't want to say could it be me because rickles could probably smoke me too but like still <laughs> he would definitely smoke me 100 percent man Goodness gracious. But yeah, I can't wait for our next big uh, match that we do have here. This is, a, this is actually really exciting. I mean, they've been kind of one-sided, but one-sided games can be exciting. We got me Gunner versus, oh, Sonic. This is, a, this is a matchup we're about to see. This is online for sure. <laughs> oh, what? Is this the, is this a button check? Zero to death. Okay. This is a button check. Oh, okay, it's a button check, all right. I thought we just saw the most amazing zero to death of all time off a of dash attack. Dash attack. Dash attack. Mom, kick the router. <laughs> Mom, turn the microwave on. <laughs> Put on 
Netflix, download the TV show you like. <laughs> the, the, the connection goes down, bro. It's super lag, you can't recover. Eat up all your jump. Oh, man. Smash Ultimate, very fun game. Not exactly the best game to play online, but you know, we're getting there. We're getting, we're, we're, God, Nintendo has blessed us with a great game. That's all we can say. Yep, for sure. I want to give a shout out to the producer one more time, man. He's dense, bro. I don't know what songs you're playing, bro. You're just like, you're like, all right, give some good old fire for you. Yeah, I was at a uh, Super Smash Con, and then a friend of mine is like, wow, the streamer's choosing some great songs. I'm like, that's 100% Devin. <laughs> Devin's his name? Yes. Devin, you are a king, man. You're fantastic. <laughs> you're playing this too. Like oh, that. okay. So it's um, projectile did recently switch from one of the moves to a different move for me, Gunner. So they forgot to change it on this setup. So they ah, are going okay. to temporarily be out of the arena. Uh, they normally use a grenade now, but they used to use charge shot as their neutral B. And yeah, so grenade the one that's like super broken because I feel like it's yep. the one that's super broken. Plus 10 on block. That's awesome. That's yeah. super cool. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge fan. You guys don't worry about I'm just glee. Full glee. That character is something. Yes, it is. My goodness gracious. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been retired from Smash for like, I think a year now. I went to a local by accident. It's a long story. <laughs> I went to a local by accident, got entered in a bracket by accident. I accidentally drove to the local and paid twenty dollars and wrote my name in. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. I I got in there for free. I was supposed to do commentary for the event. They were like, "Oh, we're Nixon commentary." I was like, "Well, I came here with the person that's running the event, so I'm kind of just stuck here." Hmm. So I went there to play games, and the first person I played was a me brawler, hmm. and I was not happy with that. But that's a story for another time. Let's get this match up right now. Absolutely. Go. Here it is. Projectile versus what? Here. what? Big battlefield. What? Oh my god. Can we DQ these both both these people? <laughs> like, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Who's like, you know what? Big battlefield. Let's go here. Like, no. It's sun death, one sock now. I don't care. <laughs> one sock, two minutes. And this is gonna be me gunner versus Sonic too, so this is Probably gonna be a long one. Ooh. Yeah, we've been on commentary for the longest period of time right now. And yeah, we had a two hour match. Two hour match. And now about to get into, the, you know, another college battle. I think we might have, what, two more after this, I wanna say? I'm not too sure. Either way, we got a lot of matches to go through. So, just a fair warning, guys. Please uh, hydrate. Make sure that you guys are always safe and sound, man. Mm -hmm. Good environment. Eat. And make make sure you guys are not playing Sonic and me, <laughs> me, me Gunner. Oh my god, this is about to be a bear. Oh. Oof, this is gonna be a test of endurance for sure. For us. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, for us. <laughs> We've already seen one timeout today. Can we get more? <laughs> Can we get more timeouts? I need more of them. I need to come down to the wire all the time. Three, just, two, just to see one, if it's possible. Go! All right, well, from the NU side, Percy's going to be playing Sonic. And of course, from the GW side, is it going to be Projectile playing the Mii Gunner? Ooh. And already, Projectile has gotten 69% on and only just took a hit. So this is a commanding lead here. And oh no, off stage, that means that Mii Gunner, who has great ledge trapping, is just going to have a party. Wow! Wow, wow. that song almost didn't exist. Holy cow. And that was 30 seconds. 30 seconds of just me pressing the B button. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Only pressing the A button for that up there. Man, he's been doing a great job of covering my ledge. And I don't think Percy knows his matchup. I feel like this is kind of unfair. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, this is a very obscure matchup. Not that many people play the Mii's in general. And Mii Gunner is one that definitely will catch you the most off guard. Oh my god. Oh, oh that almost hit. He's been in a ledge for the whole time. He just wants to see his family again. I'm in disadvantage in my favorite game. What do I do? 
<laughs> Just cry and pray. Oh, you're back to left again. Cool. Had to get out the corner. Oh, oh you don't get to the corner. You die there. And that was a zero to death there. Took no damage that stock. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. No more zero to death today. At least for this uh, game, anyway. Oof, but this is. This is more than lap. This is like. Oh, he's getting body. He's getting freed up. We're, we're gonna be caught up with yeah. about it. Oh, and no. he's dead. Oh no, he's living. Fight. Battlefield is tall. But if it were like Yoshi's, or if it were just any stage that's shorter than Battlefield, actually, it probably would have killed him. Yeah, he probably would have just exploded. Okay, first you're trying to make a comeback here, but it's gonna be stupid hard, almost borderline impossible to be honest with you. Oh, and projectiles back. Putting in so much right now. Ah, every single time that Percy wants to get something going, it's just ending like that. Ugh. Oh my god. I, I'm sure if you hate Sonic with every fiber of your being, you're probably just loving this matchup, or you're probably like, wow, this is actually kind of painful. <laughs> Holy cow, my Ooh. man spent like his whole entire game on the ledge. And, despite it being Sonic versus Me Gunner, that was a pretty quick game. That was not even three. Great for us. Not great for Percy, though. Great for our endurance, not... Oof. I don't even think you have to worry about endurance at this moment. Like, it's just pretty much you just getting kind of handed. I think at this point in time, you gotta worry about tolerance. It's a real big thing. It's like, man, I have to deal with the guy pressing B, 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 and B. I mean, to be fair, Sonic does the same thing. Spin dash, spin charge, homing attack. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. I, I can't even, like, I want to have sympathy for either side, but I can't. You're both present B right now. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be a little bit uh, interesting to deal with, it. especially because you brought up before, too. Like, this is a character that, like, not many people play against at all. Like, even if you go yeah. on Wi Fi, online, or anything like that, you can't find, like, many, like, me gunners. So, mm -hmm. where do you get the matchup experience at? Yeah, you got to get that experience, but almost no one plays the character. Yeah, so I mean, like, unless you're going to locals and your local has a resident meat gunner, looking kind of tight, looking kind of yeah. tough. Especially uh, because when the sand skin came out, meat gunner was popular, but over time, meat gunner's popularity has waned again. Yeah, I don't know. Meat gunner got some tight costumes. I got the Doom costume, which is yes. really cool. I'm a yes. huge fan of Doom costume. Yes, I know uh, Projectile likes that costume personally, uh, but it's not on that Switch. Oh, that sucks. I was like, why didn't he pick the Doom costume? He would have been my favorite player of all time. And it turns out he was my favorite player of all time. <laughs> he just doesn't have the, the, the Doom costume. So, uh, you know, unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Like, that's my that's my skill. Like, I don't like me players, but they put on a Doom character. Oh, man, it's my favorite play, player of all time. Ready? All right, get to our second match here, guys. I heard the ready. Let's see what kind of characters we got here, fellas. I'm expecting much of the same. Me Gunner versus Sonic. Oh, going Corrin this time. Interesting. I don't know if that'll make the matchup any better, though. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's going to make the matchup any better at all. What? What? Huh? What? I think it, oh, I think it was the wrong stage. Uh, uh. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but our stream runner is going through it right now. I'm... I'm <laughs> Little rust tolerance, right? He's like, bro. <laughs> he's about to go over there. He's about to Dolph Ziggler drop kick both of them. Yes, I could see. <laughs> Devin is in pain right now. He is struggling. He's in here like the rest of us. We have to commentate both of these uh, amazing crew battles, and this one is taking. It. The weird part is, is that this is. There's being delayed so much, but it's not because of the games that they're actually playing. The games they're yeah. playing, they're playing super fast. They're quick. Yeah. All of these sets are like really quick, but it's just don't press the A button so quickly. <laughs> Bro, I picked this stage. Don't go to this stage. Cool. I'm going to go to Big Battlefield instead. No. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see where we're actually going. We're going to be on PS2. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with this bit. Cause I feel like you kind of get oh. camped out even harder. It just didn't even bother getting up or teching there. It was just staying down. 
Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. That, that's a zero to death. Don't be the one who gets JV Ford. Oh, don't be the guy who gets JV Ford. Okay, okay. what's happening? No JV Ford. Oh, maybe the oh. Corbin pick is the best pick. Maybe he's actually Cosmos, who knows? I would try kicking down the dash attack. Oh, <laughs> side B galore. Alright, maybe I was maybe I was capping. Maybe this core is actually a good pick. Oh? Oh, a little bit wild with an up B though. Oh, ends up putting himself in the corner, and this is where Ooh. he has been dying. Wow. Please. Jump air dodge, please. <laughs> Ooh, that almost killed. Yeah, next up here will kill. Dash attack almost killing, actually. <laughs> I'm actually mad that he covered that, actually. Because <laughs> I would have, I definitely would have just jumped air dodge down and got blown up with that. Oh my, and here it is. Oh, the counter was actually very smart there. Oh no. Oh, okay. oh no, he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's okay. Probably want to stay away from ledge there. You know, you don't want to get hit by. Oh, that out oh, empty here. Get out the earth. It's a no fly zone. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Let him land. <laughs> no. That's it. That's a six stock right there. So that means that George Washington is up 27 to zero. This is commanding, yes. dominating. One person got to play the game. And now it, it went from impossible to double impossible. That was like, you know that, you know, that, you know, when you're like your little brother or like your cousins want to play with you and you're like, sure, okay. And then you act like you plug in the controller and like you don't at all. That's what exactly what happened to my man, Percy. Oh. Oh, God. Don't do him like that. I didn't do him like that. Projectiles hit him like that. I'm just spitting from the view that I see. And you is having a hard time right now. They're having a tough time. They are. I, they are not going to be able to make the comeback here, but I said before, go out with pride, guys. A uh, little bit more stronger pride, at least. We're going to need some stocks taken, at least. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Projectile just texted me. <laughs> what are you texting? He just texted. I can't say the words out loud on this stream. This is a family friendly stream. <laughs> <laughs> family friendly stream. Okay. Well, I'm hoping it was F R E E. Is this all he said? <laughs> My goodness gracious. That was a. I'm guessing you're from BW. If I'm if I'm correct. Yes, I I am. Okay. Cause it's not like a lot of experience with a lot of these players, especially projectile being like, bro. Did you see what happened on stream? Did you comment yeah. that, sir? He, he comes over to my place sometimes to grind. Oh, man. I'm so sorry that they fight a meat gunner all the time. <laughs> I win I win up most of the time. You know what? That's the one thing I would say. Is that, like, that's the beauty of playing a fighting game character. Is that no one, if if no one knows the matchup, they're not going to know the fighting game character matchup. Yeah. Because yeah, no one wants to play you, them. Kazuya, Ken, definitely are the more rarest of, like, you know, good, good, good players of that. Yeah. And it looks like the last player for George Washington is going to be Lizzo. Uh, Lizzo is a pit, if I remember correctly. And Niagara still has not picked their last player. I mean, uh, I mean, we covered it last set, too. And, like, last set we were like, okay, we're Still want you giving a little bit of hope here. This is a step before. This is not gonna happen. It's just not. Yeah. But you still gotta put out your all because yeah. you don't wanna. You you want to make your point differential as good as possible. Because who knows? Maybe like it could be one week, one little thing of advice that somebody said to all of your players, and then next mm -hmm. you know it all clicked. They, they got yep. better at limit trapping. They got better at neutral. They got better at like just juggling. Mm -hmm. And then next you know. The next time you guys play on stream, you guys destroy that other team. You guys destroy the other university, the other college. Yep. It could be you. So, it like, you. make sure to get all those points. It sounds like it's free fire music, I'm not gonna lie to you. It does. 
<laughs> like in the face. That's a good uh, game, by the way. Streets of Rage. From oh. the voice of this guy. Streets from Streets of Streets of Rage. Oh man. That's a good good That's pick, old. actually. Good pick. It's an oldie. Yeah, I know I got a couple gray hairs on me. I like this uh I like those games. <laughs> they were they're pretty good games. I've been enjoying a lot of good titles here too recently. Uh, I love, you know, of course, you know, watching Smash and whatnot. I've been playing Guilty Gear. I've been playing the Halo that came out too, by the way. I've been playing Guilty Gear too. I have a, I have a fight stick on my shelf. It's not visible, but it's a uh, Ken Victrix. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're playing Guilty Gear? Yes, and I'm going to be playing Undernight at a climax of night. Oh, in, okay. In Atlanta. I'm currently, uh, I got into Guilty Gear because of the community uh, put me on there. And, um,. I'm playing Potemkin a whole bunch. I know. It's okay. I People usually wash their hands when they hear Judging that. you. Judging <laughs> you. I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of bad. I played Amelia the other day. And like, I was like getting mixed up. And I was like, man, this is, this is kind of tough. And then I touched her twice and she just died. I was like, oh, wow, this is sick. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. She's, she's got very low health. And a terrible health rating. Oh, my goodness gracious. But yeah, that, that goes to everybody, man. Make sure you're playing your fine games, every type of games out here. I believe we do have one for, I think, Street Fighter Five. if I call it correctly. So, uh, I actually see. don't know. Hmm? If we do, then I should be commentating that, too. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of different games to, of course, play. I mean, Raga League, I already brought Halo before, too. Tree Fighter, there's so many interesting games to play in this current day and age. Yeah. And they all get beautiful patches. Back, yes. back in the day, we had the whole we had the whole day. Oh, and uh, I'm looking out the. By the way, I'm looking at the chart right now. Red Saw is a Bowser player, so this is going to be Bowser versus Pit, a very interesting matchup. Bowser versus Pit. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that matchup, actually. I'm gonna hold you up. I feel like Bowser's yeah. probably going to just go bully bully the heck out of him, but of course, you know. Depending on what side of George Washington or NU, it could be just. It could be a different story altogether. Mm hmm. And they're going to Final Destination, which I mean, if you're going against Bowser, definitely a pick to do, because you do not want to be side beat onto any platforms. And you don't want to be side beat on any platforms. Plus, it's going to hurt for him to land, too, which is actually a big mm -hmm. thing for him, since he doesn't have any platforms to actually go to himself. Yes, exactly. I like to do like the pick here. So I'm going to be seeing Bowser versus Pit. Pit also a very char a character that no one really plays, to be honest with you. I don't think I can think of a top level Pit off the top of the dome. Yeah, I don't think I can either. There aren't really that many Pits. Uh, the good thing about Bowser in this matchup is that he does have an up out of shield that's like, I want to say like six frames. So he's going to punch like nearly everything that Pit wants to do. That's true. And also one thing to note, this is a... Right now, the players that GW has brought out today have been almost all players that we don't really see that often in the league. Uh, they don't usually bring these players out, so they're finally giving them a chance to shine, which I appreciate. That's very good on them, actually. Yeah, some good old screen time, get their stuff to get complicated. Oh, man. Wow. Still 11, too. What a big, hefty fellow. Oh, he barely oh. with them. Wait, was that, was that according to Mesh? I feel like a little bit more Mesh would have been fine, but whatever the case. Yeah. Red Sox not too far out of it just yet. If he's able to get like a back air or side B, should be able to end it. Well, oh. side B depending on DI. Not oh. Enough. That was a great usage of the down B there. Down B is just a great get off me tool. Ooh, wow, oh. that down air just killed him. That just brutalized them. Red Sauce definitely bringing it back. It's definitely doable, for sure. Could, could potentially put his team on the board, actually. Wow, I'm loving these grabs from Lizzo. <gasps> Are you dead? Oh, yeah, you're oh. super duper dead. Wow. Red Sauce was looking like he had a little bit of home for his team, but, uh. What? That, no way! That, that survived Bowser forward smash. It broke the shield, but it was not enough to get back, get the pit. I mean, if it breaks the shield, it doesn't matter because it's not a regular shield, so you don't care if it breaks. All right, Lizzo's kind of in the driver's seat right now. He's about to overlap him after this combo. 
I'm looking to finish him with that, uh, that Nair, I believe. But Bowser is a robbery character. Oh, he is a robbery character. Yep. For sure. And... But Lizzo just needs to get... Oh, I oh. saw what he was going for there, though. Trying to intercept him a little bit too early. Oh my god, it, it's about to happen to you. This it's looking like it's going to happen to you. Oh, it's... Oh, he broke the shit again! Oh, oh wow. okay, and the uppercut is able to fit. I thought it was going to happen to him. I'm not going to lie to you. Dude, that was doable. That was doable. Nice try. Bowser is a robbery character. This character goes every time to Peach's castle and steals that lovely princess every time. He will absolutely rob you. Yes. And that does bring the score to 28. If George Washington can win this next game, it will be 31 at the least. So... But, I mean, can't count out Red Saw. I mean, we saw it was pretty close there at the end. Yeah, I mean, he was doing a lot better. Uh, I think this is probably the best performance for his team, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So, i like to see what he's able to do in game two. Nice use of, of course, the jumps and whatnot to get out of, to get out of this advantage set up stuff for Bowser as well. And there's a lot of base that he did, too, to get him out of shield. Uh, I really like seeing that type of play from a Bowser. So I'd like to see what he's able to do in his next game. But before the points are too much in the favor of GW at this, at this moment to really like change anything dramatically. But if you can say, you know what, I took a game, that's a big thing for mm -hmm. NU already. Which yes. is already suffering. I mean, if they take another game here, then that would mean that that's their second game they've ever taken in this season, which would be big. Because, you know, that would show some improvement, progress. And that's what you really want is progress. And we're going to be seeing, I think, the Dark Pit out now. They were on Dark Pit before as well. Uh, you could tell from the arrows that it's a straight shot versus, like, uh, one that you can just... And it's purple arrows. Wait, did he just taunt? Or am I tripping? I'm pretty sure he just taunted. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I'm 99% sure he just taunted. Oh, he got oh. S-Match for that taunt, though. Okay, Red Saw was a lot better there. How did... How did that go under? I'm... <gasps> oh, he breaks the shield again. If he, if he just waits a little bit, if he waits like a nanosecond, he can actually just kill him for a lot of these um, interactions. Oh, he just did. Oh my goodness. There goes that lead you had, sir. Yep, can't rapid jab against Bowser, tough guy. Oh, bad DI on the side tilt. Able to take that stock for him. Let's see if Red Sox can get that back to the momentum he had before. But the scary part is that Red Saw has gotten edge guarded several times. <gasps> oh. Yeah, if he got that, he actually would just explode. He would have died. <laughs> oh, looking for both those back here is missing, surprisingly. Oh, okay. Had the right idea for the anti-air, but just did it at the time. That's been a lot of the stuff for what Lizzo's been having troubles with. Having the right idea just at the wrong... You know, like, missing a lot of the electroshocks, trying to... Oh, speaking of which, finally getting those timings down at ledge. Oh? Yeah, Ivy's able to end that stock, too. And it looked like he w to be our... No, I'm sorry, PW. And uh, he's going to be denied yet another game. He went for it all. Okay, crazy man. All right. Okay. Okay. Can't can't afford to go too risky like that, though, against Bowser. Bowser is one of those characters that if you do not, pull, if you give them an opening, they might just take it and run away with it. Yeah, you know, the, the old phrase that, you know, give them an inch, make it a mile. Mm -hmm. That could definitely happen with Red Saw here. An anti air with the uphill once again. Man, just wait these out, bro. If you wait these out, you can actually just kill him. It's crazy. Oh the my. Fourth smash. And the yep. forward air will be able to end it. No games lost for the boys at GWU. And that is a 31-0 win against Niagara. That is just devastating. That, that is... Whew. That was and hard.
That was there fun to watch. Of, yes, but there were a lot of improvements there from Lizzo as well from that last game. Last game, Lizzo was trying to get a lot of those timings down with the Electroshock, those up smashes. And afterward, after that first game, and you saw at the end as well, Lizzo was starting to get those. And right there, the Electroshock hitting perfectly timed on the wake up. Yeah, not only perfectly timed on the wake up too, at the perfect area as well to cover roll. So like, that's really good for him too. Mm -hmm. And Lizzo was just playing way too well for Red Sox to be able to make a proper comeback there. And that will be it for that crew battle as GW, as you can see down there in the results, takes a 31 do zip. Yep, a G-dub dub. Another G-dub dub. And uh, what, 3-4 now? One more yes. and it becomes 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. Same, looks a lot better. We'll begin guys to interview here in a moment, guys. We're gonna take a small little break while we set that up. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. See you soon.